forgotten heroes of World War I. The Harlem Hellfighters Regiment was originally created on June 2, 1913 as the 15th New York Infantry in the New York Army National Guard. They were the first black American army group that served in the American Army in World War I. They were organized on June 29, 1916 in New York City and sent to Europe in December 1917 after the United States entered the war on April 6, 1917 after Germany continuously sank United States merchant ships leading to American civilian death. They were led by Colonel William Hayward, a white officer while they were stationed in France. On March 1, 1918, the 15th New York Infantry was reorganized into their official Great War Regiment, the 369th Infantry Regiment. However, this was a slight to these men, as regiments numbered over 200 were for men forced to fight in the war via the draft, whereas these men volunteered to fight for their country. The 369th were used as laborers and did not fight in the front lines as the United States Army was still segregated at the time and the white soldiers did not want to fight alongside black soldiers as they thought of them as inferior and cowardly. The 369th finally saw combat action in April 1918. However, they did not fight with the American Army. Instead, they were sent to fight with the French. The French were pleading for more American reinforcements because their ranks were heavily depleted as they had been fighting in the war since 1914. The United States, however, wanted to keep their troops strictly under American command so they could be more in control of American soldier conditions. So to help their ally, the United States Army sent the 369th Regiment and told their French counterparts how to treat them as second-class citizens. They informed the French about Jim Crow rules and how to treat these black soldiers so they don't return home when in equality. France, however, was a large colonial empire with vast holdings in West Africa, so their army had no issue fighting with black soldiers as they were integrated easily. The French called these men the Men of Bronze for the courageous acts in fighting in the brutal trenches of the Western Front. These men spent 191 days, over six months, in the trenches, which was more than any other American regiment. Due to their continuous intense fighting, they suffered the highest casualty rate from any American regiment in the war. However, they never lost an inch of land and no soldier in the regiment was ever captured. They were a part of the first Allied soldiers to reach the Rhine River in November 17, 1918. They were given the famous nickname the Hellfighters by their German opponents for their courage and ferocity in fighting, which gained them fame and notability throughout Europe. The Harlem Hellfighters were not just limited to their combat roles, however, as the Harlem Hellfighters Band was responsible for 20% of the land controlled by the United States in the war, while making up less than 1% of the troops deployed in the war. Regardless of color, they were known for their almost instantaneous boost to morale and played a major role in introducing jazz music to Europe. The most famous Harlem Hellfighter was probably Henry Johnson, who alongside Needham Roberts repelled the German surprise attack Outnumbered 24 to 2, the men fought off the Germans who tried to overrun their position. A German grenade knocked Private Roberts unconscious, leaving Henry Johnson to fight the Germans, hold the line, and defend his injured Conrad alone. Johnson by himself killed four enemy soldiers and injured several others with the butt of his rifle and a knife after his gun malfunctioned. He became the first American to win France's highest honor, the Croix de Guerre. He eventually died from severe injuries he sustained that night in 1929, sadly. Decades after his death, he was awarded the Purple Heart in 1996 and the Medal of Honor in 2015. The Harlem Hellfighters returned to New York on February 17, 1919 to a massive parade. They did not receive a parade before leaving for Europe, which was customary as they were the only black regiment in the Rainbow Division and black was not a color in the rainbow. The Hellfighters were also not allowed to march in the Victory Parade in France. While they were celebrated when they came back, this quickly ended as many former black soldiers were persecuted during the Communist Red Scare of 1919 as the Communists urged black Americans to start a nationwide revolution which was nowhere close to happening. It also wasn't uncommon for these men to be beaten or even lynched and killed in their uniforms. Ultimately, the Harlem Hellfighters became the most awarded unit in the First World War. 
171 members of the 369th were awarded the Croix de Guerre in 1918, and the entire unit was given a citation by France, cementing their legacy in the long line of legendary and heroic black soldiers that bravely fought and died for a country and freedoms that were often not awarded to them when they got back home. Thank you.